Now at five, the Scottsdale police chief says we made a mistake in the arrest of a woman that officers tried linking to a hit and run. This happened back in May of 2020, and since then, an internal investigation is wrapped up. Two officers now are facing discipline. But is it enough? Fox 10's Justin Lum spoke with the woman's attorney as they sued the department. He joins us live from Scottsdale Police tonight. Justin. Well, John, Christina, the chief says all of the officers who violated policy in this case have received discipline or counseling. Two of those officers were suspended, one with 40 hours unpaid, the other with 20 hours unpaid. Yesenia Garcia's attorney says if not for security cameras that night, she might be in prison. On the night of May 24, 2020, Scottsdale police officers detained Yesenia Garcia outside the Scottsdale Galleria. Over the course of this evening, um, how much alcohol would you say you've consumed? She had just returned to the parking lot from the Hi-Fi Club to learn her car's windshield was damaged. She and her then-boyfriend flagged down police who responded to a hit-and-run crash less than a mile away. Now she was being questioned for the collision. So when you went to Hi-Fi when you got here tonight, where did you park the car? Here. So it hasn't moved? No, that was the same spot. Surveillance video from the Galleria places Garcia's car parked for hours. Not only that, footage shows a man stomping on her windshield, causing the damage. Still, she would be arrested for DUI and hit and run. Scottsdale PD says before the arrest, officers did not have access to the video at the time due to technical difficulties. Miss Garcia might be sitting in prison as we speak right now. But thank goodness there was surveillance video to exonerate her and to clear her name. Chief Jeff Walter apologized to Garcia in a statement saying SPD made some mistakes plain and simple. Quote, I remain committed to maintaining a strong culture of accountability, transparency and professionalism. When employees fall short of those standards, there are consequences. Two officers were suspended for a combined 60 hours without pay. None of the names of the officers involved in the incident have been released. Garcia's attorney, Benjamin Taylor, on the discipline. It's more like a dog and pony show when you just do a slap on the wrist and anybody who's been wrongfully arrested and accused of a crime and their mugshot has been shown, this definitely hurts your reputation and will hurt Ms. Garcia's career for the rest of her life. And charges ended up being dropped. Garcia and her attorneys announced back in August that they filed a federal wrongful arrest lawsuit against the department, which is still pending. Court paperwork says she's seeking at least $300,000. Live at Scottsdale PD, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.